I'm thankful that I have someone greater watching over my life. We do move on tonight and to the other major story developing at this hour, the deadly truck attack in Sweden with all the hallmarks of terrorism, the attacker using a vehicle as a weapon. That stolen truck speeding for blocks down a crowded pedestrian mall, then slamming into a department store, people running for their lives. John 4 and 4 says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That means that if we take everything in the universe, we take everything in the entire cosmos and we put it up against just us, just one Holy Ghost-filled Christian, we would still win. With God on our side, we are greater. Over the next 24 hours, 353,000 children will be born. We are the ones who have the opportunity to shape their future. We are the ones who have the opportunity to speak a word of hope, and we are the ones who have the chance to introduce them to something greater. Newton's third law of motion says that for every action, there must be a reaction. And so as the world pushes on the church, and as sin pushes on the church, we must push back. In this time of darkness that wars against us, there's a global need that cries out across the world, and we must respond. We have to introduce that need to something greater. And that something greater is what lives in us.